Some buyers will bid 10 million for a painting they don't much understand or relate to, just to impress the house guests. It's enough to make you cry. Fortunately, John Flismus is there to help us laugh about these things and tonight to show us how to create a masterpiece of our own. Where, you may well ask, does John Flismus get the time to paint? The stand-up comic of the year performs both here and abroad, manages other acts, writes weekly columns and is busy on a TV show. But here he was, painting. So the rumours are true? No, they're not. I wasn't in that video. That was yours. Artist turned comedian, comedian turned artist? Well, I paint, uh, and I have done for a couple of years. Uh, it's not really that big a change from telling jokes, I don't think. Observational humour, observational pictures. So I think it's kind of a similar vein. This wasn't an exercise in psychoanalysis, though, rather one of painting on impulse and in time. I have three hours. Do you think we could do something together? Well, we could do your video. That was only 48 minutes, so we could do that twice if you want. Um, no, what we could do is just get some canvas and paint and start like I did. Builder's Warehouse would also show its arty side. We need to sort of smear it on, aka vis-a-vis -vis the canvases. Right. And we'll put them together and make a team effort. John, I really like these colours. It'll work perfectly. Oh, it's shiny. <laughs> Not from Durban, are you? No. Um. The fired earth metallic paints make for an eye-catching backdrop, while a length of masking tape provides for continuity between your canvases. I know very, very little about painting. But that's okay. You're like a doctor, so you, if you didn't know how to do that, someone would die. If we don't like it, we throw it away. Just, that's the first thing. Everyone's okay. so precious about like this vibe. It's not a stressful thing. It's quite a job. Well, that's a better way of looking at it. Then technically, what we need to do is decide the composition. Now, I think if it's going to go in your house, you probably would prefer something longer. Yeah, I like that. And not so high. Yeah. And then human figures, because I always paint human figures. Yeah. And I, th I think it's a good thing too. And one of the things I like about people is they're not perfect, which means if you don't paint them perfectly, it's not the problem. Yes. Exactly. It's only by putting brush to canvas that you get anywhere. And painting in tandem with someone a little more skilled is the best education. I think there's something intuitive about art, and I think people teach their children that creativity is a separate thing that you have to develop. I don't think that. I think we, we spend our lives unlearning creativity. I think everybody should paint. I think everyone should write. You know, what makes one poem better than another one? So I think spending time doing something like this is good for everybody. If you hate it or didn't quite get the idea, simply paint over it and start again. Unlike so many other things in life, you get as many shots at this as you have time to give. With an acrylic paint tube set and professional art palette, turps, a mutton cloth, liquid metal paints and a 50ml brush set, go paint the town any colour you like. So John? Yes? What do you think? Hate it. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. I think it's worth at least 50 million. I think it's a very valuable exercise because you started off by doing squares, you know, just straight, very simple squares. And now you're getting more like you're getting facial expressions and you're being brave with different colour eyes and like, so, so I think as an exercise it's fantastic. And it's definitely art because you did it. Out of all your figures, I think I like the middle one the best. What is it you like about the middle one? Well, I think I like his nose and I, and I like the stripes on his clothes. I think that's very cool. Well, there you have it. That's the basis of all art. It's noses and stripes. That's what made Da Vinci famous and Van Gogh and in fact only noses and stripes because he cut his ears off so he couldn't have ears, noses and stripes because he only had one and no one likes one ear. It's just stupid. <laughs>